Grand Rising, Grand Rising. This is part two of You Are Now My Enemy. I will go ahead and attach a screen recording of your voice stating that asking me can I send the oil and the love gem that you purchased for me if I could send it to my ex-customer which is your spiritual mentor because their loved one just passed they have a financial hardship they need the money more than you and you will see my response with absolutely not. And this is where I explained the reason why my spirit is not pleased with your mentor. Now, again, like I stated in part one, I can understand that your loyalty lies with this bitch, which I respect that. But all you had to simply say was, you know, I am no longer in need of your service and leave it as that. Do not block me without an explanation and you ha are in possession of my products because you lead me to believe that you and your mentor is misusing my products and doing things with it that you do not supposed to be doing with it. And I am to believe you went against my best judgment and went ahead and gave her those products like I instructed you not to so since you did that now you will have to deal with my spirits now you will have to deal with this magic okay I also have reached out to your target this target that you had that you quote unquote call it a sour jar yeah so I will reach out to him and I will inform him and I will send him your voice audios as well with your voice. When you informed me that you put him and the judge both in this sour jar. Hmm. I wonder how would the judge feel about that? And is your voice? Huh. I don't know. But I will enter here the screenshots from that the screen recordings with you asking me if you can give my products that is made for you to someone else after this person told you that she had her most prosperous year using my products and never once gave back to my spiritual team never once contact me but clearly is talking about me behind the scenes with you for you to ask me if you can give the products that you purchased for yourself to your friend. You foolish, foolish girl. So, also, I will include the screen recording that I will send to your target as well. So they know I'm not bullshitting them. So they know exactly what you did. And then now I'm going to help them. I'm going to help them with that custody case. I'm going to help Dumb, get rid of you. <laughs> you are now my enemy, bitch. Ashe. How you doing, Goddess Foreign? Um, I wanted to ask you a question. Uh, my friend Empress that referred me to you, she asked me to manifest uh, some stuff for her financially. Um, I wanted to ask the Love Jam. And the money all that I purchased um, the other week. Is there any way that I can gift that to her instead? Because with her losing her husband and, um, you know, with, you know, financial things that come, you know, with losing a loved one. I think that she could benefit more um, from those products than I can. And what I mean when I say that I've been receiving um, financial blessings. So yeah, I would like to gift that to her. So instead of shipping it to me, can you ship that to her um, instead? Is that okay with you? I just want to add here, you will no longer be receiving those financial blessings. Starting since yesterday, your roads are now closed, sweetheart. You would need those financial blessings. <laughs> you will regret 
giving your financial blessings away. Because guess what? My spirit is on your ass, Mr. Postman. Now, this next audio that you will hear with her voice is her explaining to me the work that she have done on her target already and also the work she have done on the judge. So, y'all go ahead and listen to this. And this will be the same audio, ma'am, if you see this, to your mentor, if she see this. This would be the same audio that I would send to your target and we will fuck you up together. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I stopped all the work. I haven't literally done a thing since um, I hired you. No, I haven't done anything. I haven't thought about it, spoke about it. The jar um, is what I made uh, the day of my hearing on the 14th of uh, April of this month. It was basically a jar that I put him and the judge in with ammonia and I burned... Um, two black candles with their names on it or whatever. It was just basically a jar that I put like all of my damn anger in that day. Um, that was just it. Uh, it was just like a, a pissed off jar, you know, a sour jar that I put them in with ammonia in my petitions uh, to both of them. And that was it. Nothing more. Hi. So, yeah, I don't know if I like hexed her or anything. Um, it was basically in my petition. Um, I just got all of my anger out, you know, about how I was pissed off, um, how she needed to be, you know, removed from my case. Um, you know, just things like that. It wasn't like, you know, killing her or, you know, anything like that or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I just basically did my sour jar um that day because I just said, okay, let me put all of my anger into that jar. And it was just basically just telling them like, you know, um, you know, just basically dealing with the case. It wasn't just, you know, like a hex or, you know, trying to kill or, you know, anything like that, a hurt or harm, you know, it was, uh, just, you know, things would go in my favor, you know, um, just basically how pissed off I was at her that day that she, um, you know, it would seem like she was being biased towards him. Uh, like he didn't have to, she didn't question him about him not having an address on file, him not doing any of his paperwork that he was supposed to do and her thinking that I, you know, left, you know, Arizona without, you know, telling anyone, you know, just basically things like that. I was just pissed off about that. And she started being, nice to him let's see our hearing for the custody started in january so that's when it was kind of like he wasn't being held accountable for anything that she ordered him to do in court but yet she was still you know giving him you know temporary uh time you know until we hashed out everything but yeah just let me know you know your thoughts or whatever yeah, and I hate I didn't take a picture of the petitions uh, before I put them in there so you could see what I meant when I said that. But yeah, as far as hurting and harming people, uh, -uh I don't I don't do hex like that of, of any kind. My petitions mainly be like, you know, you won't harm me. You won't do this. You won't do that. You know, no weapon formed against me prosper like those are like my petitions. You know, I don't do, you know, anything or send anything harmful because like I told you over the phone, my ancestors are pretty good about, um, you know, blocking anything that people do. It was just basically I just put all of my fucking anger and how I was so pissed off, excuse my language, 
that day at both of them and I just you know just put it in a jar and just you know would shake it up whenever I would get a thought of like how pissed off I was you know just throughout the day or any days after that that's all it was and even if you remember when we were on the phone you know I even said it you know whatever y'all choose to do or the spirits choose to do that's on them but no I don't send anything uh like that to people I let them handle everything for me if that kind of makes sense so but yeah let me tell you what I did, but I did take a photo of your petition. That petition that you sent me that was supposed to be intended for your target. Yeah, I still have that. And I'm going to show it to him and I will insert it here too so everyone can see it. And guess what you now did? That is now my petition. You know where you put at in this petition, for example, you will not bother me. You will, will not harass me. Guess what I'm going to do? Everywhere that you wrote the word not, it will get crossed out. And now your petition is revised in your handwriting. And now it will read, you will harass me. <laughs> you will bother me. You will win this court case you know things like that damn girl you so foolish you had your mentor talk you into mine fucked you into going against me your biggest mistake take care